So select a part of your choice and then you vote. Like this. Mm -hmm. It's all. Yes. Then I press this again. Yes. Electronic voting is not without risks, but several countries remain convinced that the pros of using the EVMs outweigh the cons. Many have opted to stick to manual voting mechanisms due to operational or technical constraints, as well as the implications this may have on their legal frameworks. We ask potential voters what their concerns are and how efficient the training on the use of EVMs has been. It's very easy. I know it's very easy. I, I, I can do it by myself because you can only use two batteries. Then, you, if, if after uh, you choose your, your party or your candidates, then it's, you press your, your red button to show that you, you are correct voter. Seeing them all around here, especially in town here in Independence Avenue, they've been having some machines here trying to instruct people how to do the voting stuff, and that was very good. And they are quite very good machines of quality as well. That will provide a very good, I mean, fair elections as well result. There is exactly a month to go before voters head to the polls and the EVMs will be used despite the absence of a paper trail. Countries that currently use the system include Brazil and India. Namibia will be the first African country to follow suit. Reporting for the News on One, I'm Bramal English.